Okay, here we are with our second screencast for the muscular system. And this uh, screencast will be covering the muscle cell anatomy all the way down to the microscopic level. So looking at this diagram, uh, we're going to do an overview of how we get from the whole muscle, as seen here, down to its individual myofilaments as show up in this micrograph of a skeletal muscle. So in the overview, we have a muscle that is connected to bone by tendons. It is also covered by a connective tissue. Uh, this connective tissue, uh, there's going to be three different types of connective tissue. One covering the whole muscle, one covering these bundles, and one covering individual cells. Within the muscle are muscle cells, also called muscle fibers, that are grouped together in bundles. So that's a bundle this is a bundle and these bundles are called fascicles. Fascicles are nothing more than bundles of muscle cells and each one of these circles within that represents a single muscle cell. So here we have the fascicle being pulled out and then we've pulled one single muscle cell one single muscle cell out of that fascicle and you can see that the muscle, single muscle cell has more than one nucleus, so it's multinucleated. And then within this single muscle cell are these myofibrils, these rods of proteins. And so those are the myofibrils. Now the myofibrils are composed of myofilaments and the specific myofilaments that they are composed of are actin and myosin. Those are the proteins. So the myofilaments make up the myofibrils which make up a single cell which makes up the fascicles which makes up the whole muscle. All of which um, are surrounded by connective tissue. And then these striations that we've viewed before on skeletal muscle are there because of those myofilaments, because of the arrangement of the uh, two proteins, the actin and the myosin, in a myofilament of a muscle cell. And as you build muscle, you don't actually build the number of muscle cells in this biceps brachii. You actually build the number of these fibers, myofibrils, myofilaments here within that muscle cell. So let's look at it a little bit more detail. We've got the same kind of diagram over here, a um, little more words, and then a diagram we haven't actually overviewed. So here we have a football player, and you guys probably um, recognize him, and I'm going to give a shout out while we're here to Logan for doing such a great job with his 57 57 yard um, school record that uh, happened at the football game last Friday. So we're going to take Logan's, one of his uh, hamstring muscles, which would be somewhere right around here, and that's going to be the biceps femoris. It's attached to the ischium of the pelvis and the tib and the fib of the lower leg. And it gives him the ability to have that angle, that bending of the knee. And we're going to take that muscle and so here it is and we have the whole muscle that is covered by a connective tissue the whole muscle is and that connective tissue is the epimesium now within that whole muscle we have individual muscle cells and they are surrounded and put together in bundles the bundles are surrounded with a connective tissue called the paramecium so the paramecium surrounds the multiple cells that are wrapped in bundles. And then each one of these happens to be a single muscle cell. And so here we've pulled out a bundle of cells. The bundle of cells are called a fascicle. The individual cells, which are pulled out right here, the individual cells are single muscle cells, or also called fiber. A muscle cell and a muscle fiber being the same. Now this specific muscle cell, as you can see here, each one of these muscle cells are surrounded by another connective tissue called the endomesium. And then the actual muscle cell has a, can, has a um, membrane around it, and it's just like the membranes that we've found in other cells 
but we don't call it the cell membrane or the plasma membrane, we call it the sarcolemma. And then within this cell, we have cytoplasm. It's that fluid region. Well, we don't call it cytoplasm. We call it sarcoplasm. Same thing as the cytoplasm. This is cytoplasm of the muscle cell. The muscle cell has these rods all in it. And these rods are called myofibrils. And they contain these proteins called myofilaments. Myofilaments. So if you look at this sarcomere down here, they have taken the myofibril, and you see it right here. So this is the this is the muscle cell, this is the myofibril, and they've pulled out these filaments and they are showing them to you as thick and thin filaments. And there actually is a filament that's thicker than the other. Um, the thick filament is called myosin, represented in red and the thin filament is called actin, represented in the blue. And these filaments sliding past each other are what uh, cause contraction in your muscle. And We'll get into the steps and the physiology of contraction um, later this week and on another screencast, but not on this one. But I will tell you that a sarcomere is the functional contractile unit of the cell. So you see these Z lines here and in between are the thick and thin myosin and actin filaments and when they slide towards each other you get shortening of the muscle or contraction. So this is the contractile unit of um, the, the muscle. So now that we have covered the anatomy of the cell, let's look at it again. Um, you can take a minute and pause it and see if you know what would be underneath these red circles. So these red ovals, I, th I assume you paused it. Here you have the bone, and the muscle is attached to it by a tendon. And then this is connective tissue covering the whole muscle. And that would be the epimesium. Epi is around. Is, and then another connective tissue covering this bundle of cells called a fascicle, which would be the paramecium. And then we pulled one of these circles out of the fascicle, and that would be a single muscle cell or a muscle fiber. And then you see the sarcolemma of the muscle fiber. And even around the sarcolemma would have been a connective tissue not mentioned here called the endomesium. Then we pull these individual rods out. Those are the myofibrils. Go down here to look at the myofibril and look at what's inside it, the myofilaments. And of the myofilaments, this one would be myosin. This one is myosin, the thicker one. And this one is actin, the thinner one. And then you should be able now to place these in order from smallest to biggest, or what makes up what. So pause it and see if you can do that. Okay, I assume you paused it. So the smallest of this list are the two proteins, actin and myosin, which are the myofilaments. The myofilaments make up the myofibril. The myofibrils, many of which are in a muscle cell, make up the fiber or the muscle cell along with other organelles. And then a group of cells together is a fascicle, and a group of fascicles makes up the muscle. So that's the order from smallest to largest. So what should you know now? You should know the anatomy of the cell from the large muscle to the myofilaments, and that would include the actin and the myosin. And you should be able to uh, correctly complete your microscopic anatomy of skeletal muscle worksheet that most of you picked up after the test last week. Um, it had the definitions, it had a diagram very similar to that, it had two sides, and if you have not completed it, be sure to do so. And that concludes uh, our second screencast.